Welcome to PID 3320, Facilitating Learning Online Fundamentals. I'm Dwayne Hrapnik, and I'll be your learning facilitator, or as I like to put it, your tour guide over the next six weeks. This will be an exciting educational journey for you, and I'm excited to help you to explore how to facilitate learning online. Please note, your official start date is in the email message that uh, you have received. Now, you will be getting another email from the folks in administration or the, or the School of Instructor Education pointing to the enrollment key and other login information just a couple of days before the course officially starts. Please note, the course is fully online and all your resources are digitally available within the Learning Management System. The first Monday, or in the case of a statutory holiday, the first Tuesday of the course, um, at 6 p.m. is the first course meeting that you are required to attend. This meeting will give you the opportunity to meet me, your course facilitator, and to meet your other students, and to, perhaps even more importantly, engage in a synchronous collaboration session and explore um, this wonderful aspect of learning online. Don't worry, the terminology, asynchronous, synchronous, all that stuff will start to make sense in the first meeting and as you go through the course. Please check your email message for the Zoom URL and additional login information. We are going to ask you to actively engage in your first meeting, so make sure your webcam and your microphone are working well. To better prepare for that first meeting, we also want you to, at minimum, take a look at the overview video and the um, additional information within that first module. Ideally, if you have the time, it really would be in your best interest to familiarize yourself with all of the module overview videos and to explore all the contents of the course modules. We have provided you an overview and some recommendation on some dates, but the course has been designed to be self-paced, so you can complete the modules in a much shorter period of time and on your schedule. It won't take you long to notice that there are new people coming into the course each week. Well, this is because the course is continuous intake. So there are going to be people coming in each week and as well, there are going to be people leaving the course each week. The exciting thing about this is that you're going to have the opportunity to learn from those who have been in the course a little bit longer. And then you can reciprocate and share what you've learned with those who are coming in. You're going to have a wide assortment of people who are going to take in your synchronous or asynchronous sessions and uh, participate with you as they and you build out your knowledge of learning online. We've designed this course to enable you to experiment and explore a wide assortment of collaboration, engagement, tools, and methodologies. Now, that freedom and that flexibility to explore and to experiment is going to come with the opportunity to be challenged and at times maybe even frustrated with the experience. But the exciting thing is that you are going to have the opportunity to control how you learn to facilitate learning online. We are looking forward to working with you as you learn how to facilitate learning online.